Welcome to Platypus Scotsman. I uh, hope you're having a fantastic day today. We're going to do trash bags, but first off, I'd like to thank those who are new and visiting for the first time. Welcome. And also thank those who are returning. Uh, glad you made it back and hope you enjoy this video. And, but most of all, uh, I would like to thank the patrons that support our channel. I see you. Um, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, uh, very much appreciate it. Uh, and for your hard and coin, I appreciate it very much. But the reason why I'm doing trash bags is I want uh, things for a new game that I'm getting into. It's Reality's Edge. And it's a cyberpunk skirmish game. And to me, it's kind of like the Blade Runner type feel. Uh, it's just kind of dirty, grungy, a lot of cables. The Alita, the Alita movie, uh, Battle Angel, that as well. Um, the pipes and the different things but kind of combine those two worlds. So I wanted some garbage, some uh, terrain that was uh, light cover, not heavy coverage, not all concrete and things like that. So I wanted some trash bags. I'm gonna do some other things like that as well. Uh, and I wanted to do it, and I wanted to have a look of plastic, but I wanted to try to do paper because I want to be able to paint it. And that's one of the things when I do terrain, I want to be able to paint it because you're around, everything else you're working with is painted. And I experimented some paper and it didn't work, it didn't come out well. So uh, I wanted to see if anybody had done with plastic and I Googled, I, well, YouTube searched and I found Mr. Justin on uh, Secret Weapon Miniatures. He had done, done one about four years ago. He did some plastic. And so I'm kind of emulating what he did, uh, but with a little bit of a twist because I wanted a different look. I want it, I want, weight to the plastic. I want it to look like it's, you know, settled, it's weight and things like that. So that's where we're going to go with this. And uh, let's go. Right, this is the edge of a trash bag. It's not the bottom, it's the side. Just because the seam's a little bit better. I also think you could probably just put two pieces of plastic together to do the same thing. But I'm just gonna eyeball some cuts. I'm not gonna really, I don't care about being precise because they're all gonna be melded together anyway. Just make sure you're in a well-ventilated area and if you're a youth, have parent supervision for this part right here. All I'm doing is just kind of getting it close so I can just melt the sides. I did want to use paper for this. I didn't want to really use plastic just because I'm not a big fan of having real things. Oh, that sucked. Uh, I like things painted when I do stuff. That seemed totally came apart. What are you doing? Try to make sure that the sides are as close as possible. So, whoops. And just because it's going to be smashed around, I don't think it needs to look that perfect. But you can do whatever you want. I did buy really cheap, thin plastic, so it's going to melt pretty easy. This, these rolls were really cheap. It's coming apart right there, so I'm just going to try to melt it back. I'm not going to lie, this is my first time doing this, so it's going to take a little trial and error. Now, one of the things that Mr. Justin did is he put shredded paper in this. I don't want to. I want it to be a little bit firmer because I want to have a garbage sack pile. So I'm going to put sculpta mold in it, and I'm going to see if I can have it just ventilate a little bit or figure out a way to have it so it dries and doesn't stay moist the whole time. So now, right now, I'm just checking the seams to see if they're decent. And that whole side on that side just sucks. I may have to actually just... Uh, Pony up and get a little bit better plastic. This stuff is kind of really not working well for me. Woo, that melted. Here's some Sculpta Mold. That's, the directions are on the back. I can pick this up on Amazon. I 
Let's see how well this works. Yeah, this might be a little fun. If I get the first one in there, I think I'll be fine. I need to use a pellet knife. Yeah, that's better. Now you can fill these full of whatever. If I was gonna use the clear white ones, I'd probably paint some things up to where it looks like there's cans and boxes. Because the clear white, the sorry, the white ones are opaque and so you can kind of still see color in them. But I don't really care if I, that that's the case with these. The reason why I want to do sculptimal, holy crap, this is harder than I thought. The reason why I want to do sculptimal is I want some rigidity to them. Or I should say weight. I want them to appear to have weight to them instead of just being all fluffy. Yeah, it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt than I thought it would be. Uh, that's kind of the idea. I mean, that's the look I want, is I want to be able to have it just have form to it, you know, not just be one puff ball. So when, I, when these dry and I can stack them on top of each other. Huh. I don't know. I think it was if it was still though up the side, if I did a better job of that, I think it'd work. A couple things I learned uh, when I was doing this, uh, but there's some finished product right down there. There's some ones that are on their side, ones that are on top. But one thing I learned is having a flap like this that's open, and then using dry uh, sculpt mold is way easier. And now I can see why Mr. Justin used dry. But now, now that I have to perform on camera, can't do it. All right. Anyway, I can hold it with, well, I was doing better before, but I can pinch it between one finger and my thumb. And once I get it going like that, I can just kind of hold it. But dry is way easier, way easier. And just, Start putting it in there. Holy cow. Can't perform on camera. Then just use the back of a paintbrush or whatever. And just shove it in there. Just kind of pack it in. Just kind of pack it down a little bit. And then get some water. Let it sit for a second so it soaks down. Like I said, I want to use sculptable so I can have some, so it dries to, keeps its form. And once you, I mean, when you have garbage, it, it kind of does that anyway. And if I have a seam like that, what I've determined is that's fine, I'll just dry. <clears throat> I can paint it black and butt it up against another garbage sack and you're, no one's really gonna notice. But I want these kind of squished down few of them so they're standing up so just twist the top a little bit got some black sewing thread and I'm just gonna make a just do the first part of a knot whoa come back here and then cinch it around that part right there See, I can even leave it on the side like that. It looks pretty good. So I can pick up the string and then just finish the knot off. Maybe. I have a long thread so I can you manipulate it easier, but I seem to be having difficulties. And just like that. And I found other than using a pair of scissors, I can just cut it like that with an X-Acto knife. 
and go a little bit above the knot, top of the bag. And then I want this one to be another standing one. So I'm just gonna kind of squish it out a little bit without trying to break that seam too much. And there you go. And then what I'll do is I'll just hide that later. And I have myself a little trash bag. But anyway, I have several more to go and I'll do those and I'll get back to you. All right, I want the trash cans to be on base, not trash cans. I want the trash bags to be on bases. So I'm gonna paint them charcoal. I just cut out two pieces of styrene and just uh, beveled these edges, left this one flat because this is going to kind of be like up against a wall type situation. And I probably should have primed the plastic, but I didn't. So it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to throw a couple coats on this and then I'll get back to you. Now on some of the bags, you may have to paint the white just to hide the crimes. Crimes are just the mistakes in it, stuff like that. So just go through and just do that and hide all your sculptable that seems to be peeking out. You'll be golden. I'm just gonna flick some spots. I already did it with uh, some lighter gray, but I'm gonna do it with some darker gray this time. Normally you can just do this. One of the best ways to do this is with a, an old toothbrush, but I'm just gonna do it with this brush. Now I want some stains or puddles, so I'm just gonna do some shading on it. I just dip my brush in water just so I can dilute it up a little bit. I have no idea what's gonna be showing after I do all the bags anyway. So I'm just gonna dab it here and there and call it good. One of the things I want to start doing when, the, when I start to see the edges dry, I'm just going to use my brush to pull the liquid out of the center. So it has that kind of ring effect, like a bathtub ring. Then I have some Agrax Earth Shade. All right, I sprayed the bases with some flat varnish and now I'm gonna glue some bags on here. I'm putting this board up here, this foam core, just because I want this to simulate a wall that I'd be putting this stuff up against so it doesn't bleed over. Well, hope you enjoyed the video and hope you got something out of it. I kind of showed you the route I went to it through at first that uh, don't mix the sculpt a little first. It works way better dry, way better dry. I was talking to uh, Alan on our, um, he's one of the patron, or one of our patrons, and I was gonna do some different color plastic, like to uh, emulate uh, biohazard and things like that, but I couldn't, uh, well, I haven't made it to every store. But then the time that I did have, I went and I found some tablecloths that were plastic and I was gonna to try to do that. And it's that material, that plastic just did not work out. So I didn't go that route. I'm still gonna search for some. Uh, I'm probably gonna visit a dollar store because I think their plastic, if I remember correctly, would be the type of plastic that I could use and I'd just fold it over and just burn the bottom and yada, yada, yada. But usually they're folded inside the, inside the package well enough that you can probably use one of the seamed edge. It would act just like the side of a, a trash bag. I did use black because everything that I've seen personally 
that your cities and things like that use and they use black trash bags they usually don't use white but alan was a great help uh our patron so it's been a while since i've given a taco out so he gets the taco for this video because of all the help and the feedback that he was giving me and uh uh cheering me on i thanks al alan sorry i have uh, other people in no, Alan. He's from down under, uh, land of the platypus, as he said it, as he put it. But uh, yeah, so he gets the taco for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Uh, more than happy to help. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, I plan on making more. The one thing about this though is it kind of looks like a simple tutorial, but it's actually time consuming uh, because I, oh, well, I'm not finishing my sentence. Rewind. Uh, one of the things I did, we went and bought really, really cheap plastic bags. And at first I hated them because they were really finicky, melted the sides, it was really a pain in the butt. But once I got my rhythm down on doing the sides, it actually worked out better because the thin, really thin layer plastic emulated the scale. It was really thin, so the scale was worked really well. I think if I were to use the heavy duty plastic, the scale, it wouldn't have worked well. And I was able to push it down and the sculptor mold held it down, it wrinkled like a bag that had weight to it and so I really like that I think over time of working with it I was able to learn a lot with in a short period of time I think over time working with it, I think I'll be able to learn a lot more and so that's that's cool and I am going to try and find the other color bags but it it turned out fairly well for uh, the, my first stab at it I think so anyway uh, once I got it down my first few bags <laughs> no <laughs> they weren't very well but anyway if you have questions comment let me know and um, if you want to do one big favor for me, share the video or share other videos that you look, that you like just to get the word out there so that people can learn uh, what I'm teaching so the effort doesn't go to waste. So remember, remember what my mother used to always say, that anyone can do art. I truly believe it. You have a wonderful evening and I hope your hobby is treating you well and hope you like your hobby and hope you are doing things that you like and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, good night. Ciao.